Okay, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Alan Burgos from the hashtag Walk with Land channel. So for this session, or for this, yeah, for this session, we will be having another discussion of, uh, of another law in relation to ICT. Okay, so let me just share to you so that you can be able to see anong, ano yan, anong Republic Act. No? So we, are, we will be talking of Republic 108. No, 44. No, so this was passed May 23, 2016. No, so before uh, this this Republic Act was was passed into law, was signed by the president before uh, he went down. No, uh, to office. Uh, bago siya bumaba ng puesto. No, last 2016. No, so yon. This one, guys. Dahil, bakit ko to uh, discuss because this particular act, Republic Act is the act that really uh, creates no, the DICT or the Department of Communications and Technology. Let's have a coffee. Mm. Mm. Okay, sarap. All right, thank you very much. All right, so it was passed no, um, um, 27 of July 2015. No? Began and held. No? So uh, this was introduced in no? uh, 2015. Pa. Okay, now, um, so sa, as what I discussed doon sa 101.75, House, meron niyang House Bill at saka Senate Bill. No? It was combined. Pero hindi na natin titignan kung sino yung mga mambabatas na, na gumawa nito. No? Marami yan, no? uh, collaboration yan. Eh. Alright, so 108.44. No? Okay, so the long title is an act creating the Department of Information and communication technology DICT no defining its powers and functions appropriating funds therefore for other purposes kaya nga noong 2016 uh, actually no noong 2016 uh, may ano pa eh no may may um, okay no ano no ano to meron pang ano eh no mer mer uh, may inappoint si ano eh si binig uh, si Noy Noy Aquino, President Noy Noy, na, na, na ang tawag dito, na sekretary ng DICT. Siya yung first secretary actually. First, siya yung first uh, secretary actually na, uh, ng, ng DICT. No? Tapos pangalawa, yung inappoint na ni Pangulong Duterte. Anyhow, alright, section 1, um, um, short title, this actual known as the Department of Information and Communications Technology Act of 2015. So basically, yeah. declaration of policy, it is hereby declared by the policy of the state to recognize the vital role of information and communication in, in nation building. Oh, important yun, guys. No? Imagine nyo, no? without the ICT, no? without the computing capabilities of, of this country, of, of its people, uh, we, cannot be, we were not able to survive the pandemic last time, no? Sarap. Ay, sorry po. All right, section 2, declaration of policy. Ayan, letter B, to ensure the provision of strategic, reliable, cost-efficient, and citizen-centric information and communication technology, ICT infrastructure systems and resources as instruments of good governance and global competitiveness. To ensure universal access to quality, affordable, real, reliable, and secure, uh, secure services, to promote and uh, to promote the development and widespread use of emerging ICT, and foster and accelerate the convergence of ICT and ICT-enabled facilities, to ensure the availability and accessibility of ICT services in areas not adequately served by the private sector to foster an ICT sector policy environment that will promote a broad-led development of the ICT and ICT-enabled services, okay, sectors, a level playing field, partnership between the public and private sectors, strategic alliance with foreign investors, and balanced investments between high growth and economically depressed areas. No? So, ito guys, no? so uh, with the help of ICT, no, um, may mga ICT enabled services such as free Wi-Fi, no? Free Wi-Fi, uh, yun, yun, yun yung nakikita kong services eh, no, uh, na, no? All right, to promote and assist the development of local ICT content, 
applications and services, which may include support for ICT-based startup enterprises through strategic partnership. So, yun, startup, no? Um, alam nyo naman, guys, sa ibang bansa, no? Yung mayaman ng mga, mga, mga uh, companies because of ideas. And yung country mismo, yung mayaman because of because of ideas no kaya syempre nag-start uh, they they started small no? the same thing with this laki niyan ganda niyan all right now um uh, to promote the the use of ICT for the enhancement of key public services such as education public health safety revenue uh, generation so so civic purposes yung public health no yung uh, health informatics na tinatawag nila no to encourage the use of ICT for the development and promotion of the country's arts and culture, tourism, and national identity. No, kaya nga national identity, meron tayong national ID system, di ba? Kaya lang, grabe. Uh, one year na yung, ano, yung national ID, wala pa. No? One, more than a year na, wala pa, hindi pa na-deliver. just ko, paano kaya yun? To promote digital literacy, ICT expertise, and knowledge building among citizens to enable them to participate and compete in the in, in an evolving ICE, ICT age. Okay, to empower through the use of ICT the disadvantaged segments of the population, including the elderly persons with disabilities and indigenous and minority groups, to ensure the rights of individuals, to privacy and confidentiality of their personal information. Kaya nga meron tayong Data Privacy Act. No? Uh, Data Privacy Act, uh, yung ano? Sarap. DPO, no? Ay, sorry, Data Privacy Act. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sige, close ko lang yan. All right. To ensure the rights of individuals, to ensure the security of critical ICT infrastructures, including information assets of the government, individuals, and businesses. Okay, to provide oversight over agencies governing and, and regulating the ICT sector and ensure consumer protection and welfare, data privacy and security, foster competition and the growth of the ICT sector. Yan, may oversight agencies, no? Governing, regulating the ICT sector. Ano nga yun? And definition of terms, as used in this act, the following terms are defined as follows. Information and communications technology or ICT shall mean the totality of electronic means to access, create, collect, store, process, receive, transmit, present, and disseminate information. Convergence shall mean uh, the interface between the among various telephony, um, Yan. Radio, video, broadcasting, multimedia infrastructure, devices and services, enabling users to require their off to communicate with one another. No? So, nagko converge na, no? Uh, combination of everything. All right. Uh, electronic government or e government shall mean the use of ICT by the government and the public to enhance the access to and delivery of government services to bring about efficient, responsive, ethical, Accountable and transparent government service. ICT sector shall mean those engaged in providing goods and services primarily intended to fulfill or enable the function of information processing and communication by electronic means. The ICT sector includes telecommunications and broadcast information operators, ICT equipment manufacturers, multimedia content developers, and providers, ICT solution providers, internet service providers, ICT training institutions, software developments, and ICT ES providers. Okay. Uh, ICT enabled services or ICT ES sector shall mean those engaged in providing service that require the intrinsic use of, I, of um, including engineering or architectural design, informatic service providers, offshoring and outsourcing, Service providers such as call centers, back office processing, software development, medical or legal transcription, animation, game development, and other services that require the intrinsic use of network information infrastructure. Okay. So, ano naman eh, no? Lahat naman talaga uh, ICT enabled services na eh. Chief information officer or CIO shall mean a senior officer 
in all national government agencies, in the, including constitutional offices, state universities, and colleges. Yan. May mga CIOs, no? government control operations, and government financial institutions responsible for the development and management of the agency's ICT systems and applications. Oh, so they are, sila yung pinakamataas niyan, guys, eh, na, na, na uh, information, information technology guy. Section 4, creation of the Department of Information. Ito na. Section 4, creation of um, Department of Information and Communications Technology, the ICT. There, there is hereby created the Department of Information and Communications Technology here, here in after, uh, referred to as the department. Okay. So mandate, what is the mandate of the ICT? The department shall be the primary policy planning, coordinating, implementing, and administrative entity of the executive branch of the government that will plan, develop, and promote the national ICT development agenda. Okay. Ayan. Okay, uh, powers and functions the department shall exercise the, the powers and functions, policy planning, formulate, recommend, and implement national policies, plans, programs, and guidelines that will promote the development and use of ICT with due consideration to the advantages of convergence and emerging technologies. Formulate policies and initiatives in coordination with the Department of Education. Ayan. The Commission on Higher Education and the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, TESTA, to develop and promote ICT in education consistent with the national goals and objectives and responsive to the human resource needs of the ICT and ICT ES sectors. Okay, so yon, ha. So with the help of the uh, the education sector, no, uh, ito yung tatlong government, tatlong uh, um, government agencies, no, DepEd. CHED and TESDA. They pro uh, provide an integrated framework in order to optimize all government ICT re resources and networks for the identification and prioritization of all e-government systems and applications provided uh, for the government master plan and the Philippine development plan. Yan. So, merong master plan ng e-government and Philippine development plan. Improve public access, uh, prescribe rules and regulations for the establishment, operations, and maintenance of ICT infrastructures in unserved and in un undeserved areas. No? So, marami yan, no? in consultation with the local government units, civil society organizations, private sector, and the academy. Establish a free internet service that can be accessed in government offices and public areas using the most cost effective. Telecommunications technology through partnership with private service providers as may be necessary. Mm. Resource sharing and capacity building. Harmonize and coordinate all national ICT plans and initiatives to ensure knowledge, information, and resource sharing, database building, and agency network king linkages among government agencies consistent with e-government objectives in particular and national objectives in general. Ensure the development and protection of integrated government ICT infrastructure and designs, uh, taking into consideration in the inventory of existing manpower plans, programs, software, hardware, and installed systems. Assist and provide technical expertise in government to, to government agencies in the development of guidelines in the enforcement administration of laws, standard rules, and regulations governing ICT. Assess, review, and support ICT research and development programs of the government in coordination with the Department of Science and Technology and other institutions concerned. No? Okay, prescribe the, the personal qualifications and other qualification standards essential to the effective development and operation of government ICT infrastructure and systems. Develop programs that would enhance the career advancement of opportunities of ICT workers in government. Assist in the, 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 uh, assist in the dissemination of vital information essential to disaster risk reduction through the use of ICT. Represent uh, and negotiate the Philippine interests on matters pertaining to ICT in international bodies in coordination with the Department of Foreign Affairs and other institutions concerned. 
consumer protection and industry development, ensure all, all ensure and, and and protect the rights of welfare consumers in business uses to privacy, security, and confidentiality in matters relating to ICT in coordination with agencies concerned the private sector and relevant international bodies. Support the promotion of trade and investment opportunities in the ICT and ICT uh, ES sectors in coordination with the Department of Trade and Industry and other relevant government agencies in the private sector. Establish guidelines for public-private partnership in the implementation of ICT projects for government agencies. Uh, promote strategic partnerships and alliances between and among local and international ICT research and development education, uh, uh, educational and training institutions to speed up industry growth and enhance competitiveness, competitive, competitiveness of Philippine workers, firms, and small medium enterprises in the global markets for ICT and ICTES. Yeah. Composition. The department shall be headed by the secretary. The department proper shall be composed of the office of the secretary, uh, the offices of the undersecretaries and assistant secretaries. No? So, marami yan. Secretary of Information and Communications Technology, the secretary shall be appointed by the president, subject to the confirmation by the commission and appointments. The secretary shall have the following functions. So, this um, provide executive direction and supervision over the entire operations of the department and its attached agencies. Establish policies and standards for the effective, efficient, and economical operation of the department in accordance with the programs of government. Review and approve requests for financial and manpower resources of all operating offices of the department. Designate and appoint officers as employees of the department, excluding the secretar under secretaries, assistant secretaries, and regional assistant directors in accordance with the civil service laws, rules, and regulations. Uh, man. Coordinate with uh, IX5 use, other agencies and public and private interest groups, including non-government organizations and people's organizations on department policies and initiatives. Prepare and submit to the president through the Department of Budget and Management an estimate of the necessary expenditures of the department during the next fiscal year on the basis of the reports and estimates submitted by bureaus and offices under him or her. Serve as a member of the Government Procurement Policy Board, GPBB, and established by Republic Act 9184. Advise the President on the promulgation of executive and administrative orders and formulation of regulatory and legislative proposals and matters pertaining to ICT development. Formulate such rules and regulations and exercise such other powers as may be required to implement objectives of this act. Perform such other tasks as may be provided by law or assigned by the president. Okay, so may undersecretaries, huh? Okay. Undersecretaries, uh, the secretary shall be assisted by three undersecretaries who shall be appointed by the president. Yan. Ang, ang undersecretaries, guys, ay, ay appoint din ni um, president. Uh, appointed by the president upon the recommendation of the secretary, provided the two undersecretaries shall be career officers. Ah, okay. So yung dalawa, <coughs> uh, ano siya, ha? career. Career, ibig sabihin, uh, civil service. Yan. Okay. Um, right. uh, that two should be career officers, provided further that at least one of the assistant secretary should be a licensed professional electronics engineer. Uh, why, why, why PEC, guys? Kasi ano eh, uh, di ba galing ito? Yung, uh, yung communications kasama eh. No? Uh, NTC, di ba? Ayan, kasama yan eh. And then, galing to sa DOTC dati, di ba? Yeah. So, or any sort of qualified person in accordance with the Civil Service Commission rules and regulations. Qualifications. No person shall be appointed secretary, under secretary, or assistant secretary of the department unless he or she is citizen and resident of the Philippines of good moral character or proven integrity and with at least seven years of competence and expertise in any of the following, information communication technology, information technology service management, information uh, service management, cybersecurity, data privacy, e-commerce, or human capital development in the ICT sector. Yeah. 
Yan yung qualifications. Ha? No person shall be appointed secretary, under secretary or assistant secretary of... Eh, teka lang, wait lang. Ha? Ah. Ayan. Ito pala yung assistant secretaries, di ba? Kasi assistant secretaries, ilang ba? Ang four. Four assistant secretaries. So, meron tayong three under secretaries. Okay, appointed by the two... Uh, shall be uh, the two of the understanding shall be career officers yan okay okay now qualifications a person shall be appointed secretary under secretary or assistant secretary of the department unless he or she is a citizen uh, and resident of the philippines of good moral character of proven integrity and with at least seven years of competence and expertise in any of the following yan information and communication technology Information Technology Service Management, Information Security Management, Cybersecurity, uh, Data Privacy, E-Commerce, or Human Capital Development in the ICT sector. <coughs> okay, regional offices. The department may establish, operate, and maintain a regional office in the different administrative regions of the country as the need arises. Each regional office shall be headed by regional director who may be assisted, uh, assisted by one assistant regional director, the regional director and assistant regional director, shall be appointed by the president the regional of ah, sorry what talaga oh the regional director and sister regional shall be appointed by the president oh, okay ah. the regional officer shall have within the respected the mission regions the following functions oh, talaga. so talagang napaka powerful ng president no so hanggang ano no regional assistant regional director no talagang uh, appoint niya implementing laws policies plans programs projects rules and regulations of the department Provide efficient, effective service to the people. Coordinate with regional offices of other departments, offices, and agencies. Coordinate with the LGUs. Perform such other functions as may be provided by the law or assigned by the secretary. Okay. Yeah. Chief Information Officer Council. The department shall facilitate the creation of CIO Council, which shall consist of CIOs. With the secretary serving as the chairman no, uh, to assist the department in the implementation of government ICT initiatives. Okay, to CIO, no, CIO of of of, ano, of, uh, of schools and government agencies. So council yan, no, madami yan. Okay, sectoral industry task forces. The department may create sectoral industry task forces, technical working groups, advisory bodies, or committees for the furtherance of its furtherance of its objectives additional private sector representatives such as from the academy okay uh C C cso's and federation of private industry directly involved in ict as well as representatives of the of other ngas ngas lgus and gocc's may be appointed to these working groups government it professionals may also be tapped to partake in the work of the department through these working groups Transfer of agencies and personnel. The following agencies are hereby abolished. And I see guys, so, so ito, um, may mga offices kasi na na-abolish no, because of this act. Yung mga functions, applicable funds and approving records, equipment, property, and personal transfer to the department. Ito transfer na kasi dito. Yung dati, di ba may ito. Ngayon, wala na ito. No? I mean, meron pa yata. Wala na. I mean, DICT na yun. National Computer Center, National Computer Institute, Tele Telecommunications Office, National Tele Telecommunications Training Institute, all operating units of the Department of Transportation and Communications with functions dealing with communications. Kaya nga yung DOTC, DOTR na yan eh, no? Transportation, Department of Transportation, wala na yung communication. Eh, no? All offices, services, division, units, and personnel not otherwise covered by this act uh, for transfer to the department shall be retained under the DOTC, which is hereby renamed the Department of Transportation. Ayan. Transportation na siya, ano ba? National Telecommunications Commission. No? The following agencies, sorry, the following agencies are hereby attached to the Department of pa uh, for Policy and Program Coordination shall continue to operate the function in accordance with the charter laws and our charters laws or orders creating them in so far as they are in, in they are not inconsistent with the SAC. So NTC is under with the uh, with the DOTC na no Cybercrime Investigation Coordinating Council Center. Diba meron do sa 10175 may CICC. So this time around and dun na siya sa ano no 
Okay? Yung NPC pala, sorry. NPC, uh, dati kasi parang ano yun eh, under office of the president, no? Or, or if I'm not mistaken, sa ito din yata ito. Anyway, National Privacy Commission is under now the uh, the DO, the DICT, no? Cybercrime Investigation investigation and Coordinating South Center, dun din yun. All powers and functions related to cybersecurity, including but not limited to the formulation of national cybersecurity plan, establishment of the National Computer Emergency Response Team, and the facilitation of international cooperations on intelligence regarding cybersecurity matters are transferred to the department. Okay. Oh, the CICC shall be chaired by the DICT secretary. Uh, kasi dati, ang ano niyan, ang chairperson ay yung ICTO. No? Yan, ICTO, and then uh, NBI and PNP. No? So yung CICC right now will be chaired by the DICT secretary. The laws and rules and government re reorganization as provided by the Republic Act 6656, otherwise known as the reorganization law, shall govern the reorganization process of the department. Separation and retirement from service. Employees who are separated from service within six months from the effectivity of this act as a result of consolidation and, re and or reorganization under the provision of this act shall, shall receive separation benefits to which they may be they may he entitled under Executive Order 366 uh, Series 2004 provided that those who are qualified to retire under existing retirement laws shall be, shall be allowed to retire and receive retirement benefits to which they may be entitled under applicable laws and issuances. Structure and staffing pattern. Subject to the approval of the DBM, the department shall determine the organi its organization structure and create new division or units as it may deem necessary and shall appoint officers and employees of the department in accordance with the civil service new law, law rules and regulations. Okay, Section 18, Magna Carta. Qualified employees of the department and it's each attached agency shall be covered by the Republic Act 3439, which provides a Magna Carta for scientists, engineers, researchers, and other science and technology personnel in the government. Section 19, transition period, the transfer of functions, assets, funds, equipment, properties, transactions, and personnel of the effective agencies and formulation of the internal organic structure, staffing pattern, operating system, uh, and revised budget of the department shall be completed within six months for the effectivity from the effectivity of this act, during which time the existing personnel shall continue to assume their post hold over capacities until new appointments are issued, provided that after the abolition of the agencies as specified in section 15 of this act, the department in coordination with the DMM, DBM shall determine and create new positions, the funding requirements of which shall not exceed the equivalent cost of positions abolished. Appropriations, the amount needed for the initial implementation of this act shall be taken from the current fiscal year, appropriation of the ICTO and all agencies here, herein absorbed by the attached department. Thereafter, the amount needed for the operation and maintenance of the department shall be included in the General Appropriations Act. Okay, so kasama naman siya sa ano, GA9. Ha? Section 21, implementing rules and regulations, the ICTs, guys, no, before kasi ano, no, before it can be implemented, mayro pang IRR yan, you know? So, parang ano, uh, yung, actually, yung tawag dito, yung Data Privacy Act, 2012 pa siya naipasa, no? Data Privacy Act. Pero, 2016, dun pa lang siya nagkaroon ng ano, ng IRR, no? Parang ganun katagal. Ganun katagal. So, 2000, oh, ganun katagal, no? So, dapat may IRR. Di ba may kaso, may issue din ganyan sa ano, yung parang migrant workers din department. Okay, anyway, the ICTC, the ICTC, the DBM, the CSC, no? Uh, and other government agency concerns shall issue within 60 days from the effectivity of this act. The necessary rules and regulations for the effective implementations of this act. Separability clause, if any provision of this act shall be declared unconstitutional or invalid, the other provisions not otherwise affected shall remain in full force and effect. Okay. Repealing clause. All laws, decrees, executive orders, rules, and regulations, and other issuance or parts thereof which are inconsistent with this act are hereby repealed, amended, or modified accordingly. This act shall take 15 days 
after its publication in at least two newspapers of general circulation. Ah, talaga. So, hindi na kasama yung gasket, eh, no? So, uh, publication of general uh, uh, circulation. So, Philippine Star, um, Inquirer, ganyan, Manila Bulletin, parang gano'n, no? This act was passed by the House of Pre the Senate President then, Frank Lindrelon and Feliciano Belmonte. Okay? Tagal ni Belmonte rin, no? This act was passed by the House of Representatives as House Bill 6198 on October 9, 2015. and adopted by the Senate as uh, as an amendment since 2680 as ah, so 2015 2015 so may six months no? so that's why ano uh, nakapag ano nakapag uh, assign no o nakapag nominate no si si President Aquino at that time ng ano uh, until 20 approve eh, no okay anyway approve siya 20 So may may para one month no? kasi June 30. So may one month yung ano yung secretary nung ano ng DICT. Ah uh, yan. Okay? Sige, thank you very much. That's all for today. Thank you very much, guys. All right, bye-bye. Have a nice day.